Hey, Ashley here. So we got all of our bee packages in uh, two days ago and we hived them yesterday. It's been a really weird spring in Anchorage, Alaska this year. Um, it's, it's been every other day, snow, so everything turns white. I mean, you wake up and it feels like middle of winter, uh, first thing in the morning. And then by afternoon, everything is kind of melting. Then you wake up the next morning and it's snow flurries again. So anyway, we went ahead and we hived our bees yesterday when there was no snow. And now today, it's snowing again. So I went and I, um, I checked in on the bees because right now they've got a full bottom box with uh, 10 frames, drawn out comb so they could start laying right away. And then this top box, all I'm using it for is just for a, a feeder. So I've got the internal cover right here. This happens to be a flow hive, by the way. We've never actually used it to collect honey, but there's this really cool little window on the side so you can peek and see what your bees are doing. So my concern is that since it's been snowing, since we hived them and they were just in transport, is it too cold for them right now to be going up past the interior lid, coming up into here and actually feeding? And so I'm gonna take a look inside to see what they're doing. This is the side of the hive. This is pretty neat. Oh wow, that jar is empty. That jar was full when we put it in there yesterday. All right, so within the last 24 hours, they've drained that whole jar. And yeah, there's definitely bees in there, so they're eating. So it's time for me to swap out their food. All right, well, that's great. Well, that is really fantastic and encouraging to see them, uh, to see them in the top box uh, past the internal lid. So it tells me that even though it's snowing right now, the temperature is, is not too cold for them to be breaking the cluster and getting some food, which is great. So I'm going to go ahead now and swap out their feeder for a new one so they can keep eating. This is a, a plastic nut jar that I washed out and then the top of this cap, you take it off and you just drill teeny tiny little holes so that they can fit their tongues through, but they can't crawl into the jar and drown. All right, so let's take a peek inside now. I just swapped out their jar for a new one. Awesome. Happy little bees eating. That's fantastic. All right, that's really great to see. And all that is, is a plastic nut jar filled with sugar water. Now I know how fast we are going through sugar feed. I'm going to be out here tomorrow with uh, another fresh jar for them. And just anticipate swapping it out every day. Uh, definitely until this snow and nasty weather passes.